Hi, I'm Sven from the B Music Project. In the last video, we did all the coding work for our MyAmp XParty plugin. Now, time to compile. First, the plugin as we did before. Stop, wait! We want to make it static as much as we can. Therefore, GCC, Visibility Hidden, Position Independent Code, Shared Library, Multi-Threading. Now we split package config. First only the compiler flex for LB2. Then we tell the linker by minus wl comma that we want to statically link the following libraries by minus b static. In our case, the mass library. And we ask package configs for the libs needed to statically link LV2. And finally switch back to dynamic linking by minus wl comma minus b dynamic and define the output file. Similar way for the user interface with G++. Same first parameters. With minus capital I, we define the include path for XParty. Package config for the C flex for LV2, Cairo and X11, as XParty is dependent from these libraries. With minus capital L, we define the path to the XParty library file. Static linking for math and XParty. Note, minus L adds the prefix lib and a suffix on Linux either .a for static lib or .so for dynamic libs and looks for such a file in the system library directories and those defined with minus capital L. And also static linking for LV2 via package config. For simplicity, we will keep the dynamic linking of Cairo and X11 via package config for the first. And define the output file. Create a new mymxparty.lv2 folder in your lv2 directory. Copy the ttl and so files and run. This is a simple X user interface for our myamp plugin. We can make it a bit nicer. I've got a simple drawing laying around still from the how lv2 plugins work video. We can use it as a background. All widgets in XParty have got Cairo image surfaces to store images. So we can use this one for our box container. First we include Cairo, if not done yet. Then we can load the ping file by widget get ping from file, the target widget box and the file name. There's only one problem, file name without a path. So it only tries to load plugin.ping from the current working path, not from the bundle path. Therefore, we need the parameter bundle path from instantiate inside the constructor. And please as a C++ string. So in the HPP file we include string. Add the parameter standard string bundle path to the constructor. The same in the CPP file. And we call the constructor with a string from bundle underscore path. Back to the constructor. Now we can define file name as a string, which is bundle path plus slash plugin dot ping. Which should get ping from file needs a C string from file name. Now the image needs to be visualized in an expose event. Therefore we link box arrow func dot expose callback to let's say expose callback. For lazy people, there's an underscore draw underscore image function in x drawing area private dot h. You can link this function instead, include the header and you can skip the next steps. Then we need to define expose callback in the class header, static and the same parameters as value changed callback, copy, paste and rename. Copy, paste and rename also in the cpp file. Inside the method, we have to transfer the content from the image surface to a Cairo context, which is used by XParty for visualization. This is done with Cairo set source surface and Cairo paint. But first, we have to cast the object parameter to a widget as we have done it before, in value changed callback. Then, Cairo set source surface, the target context, which is widget error CRB, the widget image, and the origin. And then Cairo Paint Widget Arrow CRB. Time to compile and to put this binary and the image into our LV2 bundle. Hey, now it looks much better.
If you want, you can improve this or another plugin by adding an image knob, using sliders instead, add buttons, meters, or a piano roll, or many other widgets. Or feel free to write your own widgets in XParty. XParty is only one option we have. I will show you more in the next video.